I think I just figured out how the holographic storyline, like in your dream, in your dreams and in what you think about that appears the next day, I think I figured out how it works. It took me a long time. By the grace of God, I believe this is the secret. So you think about a lot of stuff during the day. God looks on your heart, right? Everything is, everything is a uh, is being recorded, right? If you write on something, if you do, the more you cut off the noise, the more you can see it. In other words, when you go into meditation and you cut off the noise, you can actually see that everything that you think reflects back. It's, this is a copy machine. And so, everything is being recorded. And so I, I, I knew it played out like a storyline in a story, but I couldn't figure out how it all just, how it, was, how it was, was being recorded. This is kind of deep. I might not even have the words to explain it yet, but I'll try. So, so if you study holography, my throat's bothering me. I gotta go get it. I found a chemical that you put it in your. If you have a sore throat, just put it on your finger, rub your throat, and it goes away instantly. So, if my speech is a little bit off, it's because I got a sore throat. So in holography, holographic, uh, science or whatever they call it. So you want to you want to record something into a hologram, right? Well, they record it on a piece of paper, all the the data points or whatever. But if you look at it, it just looks like a bunch of. whether it's an image or however they record it. What it when you look at, so uh, it could be on a 2D surface. A 3D is recorded on a 2D surface, right? But if you look at the hologram that it projects, you can see that the hologram, but if you look at the 2D surface, <clears throat> it makes no sense. And because God is recording everything that you do and say. It's holographically recorded in multi-dimensions. And so the copy repeats out in front of you the next day, but it's repeating. So let's say you have thoughts. You know, you reap what you sow, uh, your intentions, your expectations, your um, what you're working for, everything that you're doing, uh, the multi-dimensional you has thoughts, actions, behaviors, and all that. And it's being recorded, and it, and this, you reap what you sow, right? So you're sowing that seed, right? And so it's multi-dimensional. And so imagine you're, God knows you better than you know yourself, right? So everything is being recorded. You're in a hologram but everything you're everything you're doing is being recorded so it's recorded on the surface of some kind and it repeats the same day the next day and depends on the pattern that you've sown it just keeps repeating and so my question so the my question was how is how come it, when it plays back the next day it's like in little pieces and not to let's say you were just at nine o'clock at night, you're just sitting there thinking about something and it shows up the next day. You go to sleep, shows up the next day. How does it play out? How does the, the storyline play out? Your mind is going so many directions that it plays out in a holographic way. 
whether it's 2D, 3D, 5D, 7D, 11D, whatever, to your heart, mind, soul, will, emotions, intellect, all that stuff's being tied in. So the storyline is taking all that stuff and showing you. So when, when at the Bema seat, you're going to be judged for things done in the body. At the great white throne judgment, at the Bema seat, to get your rewards if you have any. At the judgment, at the great white throne judgment, they're going to be judged and everything's going to flash before their face. Okay. So they mowed their grass, right? That grass has been unmowed for a while. I predict... And I might even be writing it in the hologram, but this will be mowed for pretty soon. This will have to be mowed pretty soon. Somebody's going to mow that pretty soon. That's my prediction. We'll see how long it takes. When I upload this video, it'll be the day that I recorded it. I'll probably forget. You know, everybody will forget that I talked about this. But... Do you plant the seed? Was it already written before? Is it working together? Is it sometimes you're planting the seed, sometimes it's already written? How's this thing working? Some of the tests that come at you, the to trials, temptation, test, whatever you want to say, coming at you, how you respond, it's all your your health issues, your mental issues, your your chemical uh, imbalances. You know, God's looking at the whole picture. Let's say somebody has a problem with anger and they have a chemical imbalance. God knows that. You don't, they don't even know it. You know, they, why am I angry? And they don't even know they have a chemical imbalance. My point is, because it's holographically recorded, it's multidimensional. It might be 11 dimensions. And so, but if, it, if you were to look at your storyline on a piece of paper... It would be just a bunch of ones and zeros or dashes or whatever it's recorded as. Lines, dashes, whatever. And there's no way you can say, there's no way you can just look at it and say, this is what they were thinking, whatever. You'd have to be God, multidimensional. I'm not saying this is absolute. I'm saying this is one way to look at it. And so each day you reap what you sow. So what you were thinking about, but that's the day it's, it's holographically recorded and it plays out, but there's no way you can see that story. And when it plays out, it has to play out because it's another day from a holographic way. And you cannot understand the storyline. You might, the more you, the more you narrow down your thoughts and the noise, you can see it happening faster. It's wild stuff, to be honest with you. Just think about it.